Good morning, welcome to the video. So today is a special day. Well, yesterday was a special day. It was Johnny Slick's one year anniversary. So thank you guys for all who supported. Um, today is our party. So Johnny and I have to go get a 68 foot inflatable obstacle course that we will be having competitions. As I said, I'm still planning on him juggle, juggling fire and juggling axes and whatever circus shit I can get him to do. And then we're gonna go to Costco, get some meat and a keg of Guinness. Yeah, it's exciting. But the today's video, what we wanna talk about is how we built a six figure business in one year. That's the topic of the discussion. So this one was just dropped off. I got word by a, name, a guy named Johnny Slicks. Johnny Slicks. What kind of name is Johnny Slicks? But check out that logo. Isn't that cool? So this dude just so happens to be local and he makes beard oil and pomade. So I am gonna try some of this. Look at that. Do a little taste right now. Take a little of that, a little dip. Rub it around. A little bit in the hair. That smells really good. Come smell that. Mm. I like it. I'll have to use this for a few days and then get back to you guys on what I think. If you guys want to check him out, he's at. Uh... Stop. I'm Jabop now. Yeah. Bye, Annie. Oh my gosh. Dude. Love you. Coffee. See you tonight. Normal. See you tonight. Okay. See you tonight. Dropped the kid off at school. Now Johnny and I have to go get the 68 foot inflatable. Obstacle course. Obstacle course. So the next thing would be, then we get a ke half keg of Guinness. Yeah. Which is 15 gallons of Guinness. 15.5. 15.5 gallons of Guinness. Never thought I'd be at Camp Lejeune again, but we're here to get a grill. But, Someone took the hitch out of my truck. It was in the cab. Now it's gone. I don't know. Are we good? Yeah, she said they have a ball. Excellent. Someone forgot it. No, they didn't forget it. It, it was taken out of the truck. It was taken out of the truck, but we got our receipt. We got everything here. That's my story and I'm sticking to it, Johnny. Okay, no, 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 I, I mean, I, I believe it. Do you believe I mean, me? I trust your word, you know? Because it's what, your bond, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so step one of building a six-figure business in a year is? Have an innovative idea. Have yes. Have a good idea. That's different. Have a different idea. And like with Johnny yeah. Slicks, yeah, there is, is, there, is there pomade companies and grooming companies out there that sell stuff? Sure. But how are we different? We're better. We're organic. We're, we're better than you, and but we know it. Just, but no, seriously. Just being like, just being veteran owned, because the BBB asked us. Yeah. This, just being veteran owned puts us in like a very, very small community of people that actually are in grooming product businesses. That alone, and then obviously organic, that sets us Not aside. Not natural. As well. Not natural. We are organic. That sets us aside drastically. Yeah. And then of course being handmade is just like we're one of a kind. There's nothing like it. Johnny was in there last night till nine making, nine. Your, making your guys' products because yeah. you guys crushed us on orders. Thank you, by the way. you are Johnny Slicks. So, and, but the seri in all seriousness, he had, he looked at the grooming products as a whole and realized that there was, there was a missing point, a missing part where the organic side, not natural, because if, and there's a, I'll link the blog below, there's a big difference between natural and organic. Um, and he wanted to make healthy, healthy products to put on your, put on your body, um, yeah. and to make you look slick. So that's the difference. Have a different thing, not, not just like I want to go start a t-shirt company. But what's different about you? Why should somebody buy your stuff? Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Everybody thinks. Every entrepreneur. You ask any entrepreneur. Everyone's like, oh, I got a really good idea, but I can't tell you about it because you might steal it. But then in reality, they're like, oh, I'm gonna start a. A sunglass company. <laughs> it's like, what is 
different? Do your son are your sunglasses guaranteed to never break? Are they made with the same technology windshields are made out of? Like what makes them different? Just like what he was saying. Teachers. Be different. You just be different. Rule number three for owning a six-figure business. You always have your phone in your hand. That's a thing. All right. We're getting set up. We made it here. It's kind of a Beverly Hills Billy situation, but we made it. Grill, tables, chairs, Brandon, and uh, a Johnny on a 68-foot thing. All right, you ready to back this thing up? Yeah, I'm just going to sit here. Okay. Success. Nice. Let's watch it blow up. Costco time. It's time to get all of the goods for the party. It's a pretty long list. It is a very long list. It's gonna take, it's a two cart operation. And they're big carts. Number two of building a six figure business in a year is? Build a community and build a following. A lot of times people say, I have this great idea and Ms. Capper and I are like, that's great. Who are you gonna sell it to? Like, do you have an email list? Do you have a following on Instagram? Do you have social media? Do you have a YouTube channel? So. You can have the best idea in the world, but if you don't have anyone to send it to or sell it to, then what's the idea? What's the worth, you know? How are you gonna, how are you gonna make money off of it? So how do you build that community? Information. What do you got to offer? With me, it was my experience in the military and what I had to offer there, and that's how I grew it. I grew it based off of my experiences, and I, I shared that information for free, and my community and, and my following, the people that are watching this, you guys follow because of that. And then over time, it's morphed into other things because I've shared my failures and my business stuff, and that's the same way Johnny did it with Johnny right. Slicks. Yep. He was sharing his grooming ideas and his and what he knew about good products and healthy stuff and how to groom and how to basically how to brush your hair yeah just teach people how to brush your hair how to how to be clean yeah so that's step two you shouldn't even put these on here do you know what you're doing no have you ever been shopping without a woman no how do i so this situation is pretty much fucked what do um she sent me a list, but it doesn't have... Oh, there's buns. Okay, now we're on to... Uh, 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 That got confusing. Got a, little, got a little confusing in there. Costco. Check. Check. Buckle up for safety. Check. Next step is step three. Make a quality product. As we said, number three, making a quality product. So what we did was we really like I that allowed us partnering up and, and partnerships are a different conversation, but what we did was me and the infrastructure that I established with Alexander Industries and all of other other businesses gave Johnny the freedom to focus on the product and developing more products. We started with yeah. three, and we have how many now? Uh, 34. 34 different SKUs. And it wasn't just yeah. like what other people do, and you, he, you can talk more about this. It wasn't what other people did as far as like, melts down coconut oil and then puts it in a jar and yeah. calls it beard oil, which a massive amount of companies do. Yeah, they just buy oils and then put them in a, in a bottle and then sell it. And they don't actually take the time to learn the benefits of each oil. They buy whatever's cheap, whatever you can fit the most into the bottle and sell for the highest price. 
um, yeah, they were able to give me the opportunity to actually sit down, study more about ingredients and formulas and making products. And I didn't just see like what's popular on, on the market. You know, I, I picked what actually benefits the body and what I use personally. That way I can get behind it, be passionate about it and study more. So whatever it is, whatever your business is, if it, it might be more expensive, it might be more time consuming, yeah. but in the end, when it comes down to what th what something looks like, the packaging, I mean, we revamped the labels, we Everything. did yeah. like the boxes, the stamps that like, we hand stamped the boxes, yeah. the, the packaging that goes in the boxes around the product, yeah. like everything was so that we had a, or you, the customer has a good customer experience. So that all goes into developing, you know, and in my mind, the way I look at the whole product, not just the actual pomade or the grooming product, but actually um, the whole experience in that product, instead of just trying to go the cheapest route possible, because if you go the cheaper route, the cheapest route possible, you are just that, the cheapest. Cheap route equals cheap results. Yeah. Spend time, spend money, high quality, and you get quality results. Yeah, it will pay off in the long run. With quality followers, quality customers, and a quality family. It's getting crazy out there. Um, Party is nuts. So, thanks for everybody that came. If you're watching this, thanks for coming. Cheers. Johnny Slick style. Oh yeah. Step four. Step four: marketing and advertising. So we took basically the like the, our goal was 20% of what we made, and we didn't do it initially. We wanted to build. We wanted to push organic traffic. Yep. So we. We just pushed organic traffic and we made what we made. And once we made a little bit that we said, okay, we're gonna, st I, I remember you, I came to you and I said, okay, I think we're ready to start doing paid advertising. Yeah, I was super nervous. <laughs> it was my mindset. I didn't want, I didn't know that that was so beneficial to the business. And, and how branding. much money I was saying to put into it. Yeah, 20% seemed like a lot to me. It's uncomfortable. I was like, out. but that's just going away to but, nothing. But, but then what happened once we did? Yeah, so what happened was we had, we had a certain number and then once advertising turned on, it was like a drastic increase. Like you can, if you look at a graph, if you take it as a graph, it doubled. It was just straight up. It, it doubled like overnight. Um, obviously advertising techniques and advertising experience came into play, which is where he was good at, but um, it, it drastically changed how sales were and how many sessions, online sessions and visits there were to the website. Ali told me a story and we looked it up. So so Hershey back in the 50s thought that they had such a great brand that they, they didn't need to do advertising. And so... Oh. I need your help in a second. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So, so Hershey, Hershey thought they had such a great brand that they weren't going to advertise, nothing for a year. And this is like print media. So they did nothing for a full year and almost went bankrupt. So if you want to grow. Sorry. I'm not doing anything. Couldn't you wait a couple minutes, man? We're trying to film this right now. I'm so sorry. So as you can see, we're having a party. It's a and, party. And it's and it's not it's not working out very well. This is a lab. This is a lab. This is a serious workplace. Anyway. So if you're gonna grow, people get upset about ads, but here's the deal. If you wanna grow your business, you have to advertise. 
okay? And that's a learning experience, but like put money, put money into advertising. Yeah, like, and we'll get to step five here in a sec, but actually let's just go to step five. That, that, that's actually a good transition. Transition step five. So step five. put your money into advertising. Step five, do not take a fat paycheck from your business. We literally for the past year took the bare minimum to live. Bare minimum. Like there if were months where nothing. nothing was taken. It was just whatever profit after overhead and expenses was there went literally straight back into, into making product, making supplies. And yeah, bu uh, building more uh, cooking stations. Yep. Building uh, the bench. Building the bench, like product, developing, developing new products, uh, R&D, and then yep. mark back into marketing. Yeah, when most, most people with small businesses will take that profit and take whatever they want from it just because they're like, oh, there's money. I now. made money. Let Put me it in my pocket. It. Yeah. Spend that money, whatever you are going to take, spend that on advertising and the rest put back into the business and spend it on supplies to make more money for the next month or the month you're in now. Think about it long term. Yep. Guilty people defend themselves as hard. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, you're a monster. Come on, Johnny. You're a monster. Johnny, you're a monster. Hey, that brings us to, rule, uh, to step number six. Step number six. Roadhouse rules. Roadhouse. Be nice. Be nice. Until you, you don't be nice. Until Nick says don't Until be nice. Until Nick says don't be nice. Yeah. You be Nick, nice no matter what. Customer service is everything. Talk if you that. have good customer service, customers come back. That's just how it is. It's an ashen air. Oh, thanks. That's twice. Thanks. <laughs> twice. That's twice she's interrupted. <laughs> Listen, Linda. But in reality, in reality, people, people seem this day and age, people, people seem to be kind of irritant, frustrated all the time, hostile, thanks. and impatient. Um, yeah. The nicer you are to those people the more likely they are to be appreciative of your customer service. So roadhouse rules. And sometimes they don't deserve being nice. A lot of the time they don't deserve you being nice. And a lot of times you have to like swallow your pride and just be like, I, and you, and you I gotta be do nice. That, do you? I don't like doing it. I do do it. I do, <laughs> I do, do it. Um, but a lot of the times you kind of just want to be angry with them. You want to, you know, give them attitude. You want to be like, you know, just be mad at them. Um, but it's wrong. It's wrong to do that. Yeah, you know, um, being nice it to get people. You anywhere. It doesn't get you anywhere. In reality, yeah. you know, uh, you want to output the most positivity that you can as a business, and uh, that's where it comes down to roadhouse rules. Just be nice to every single person, um, because positivity breeds positivity, as Miss Capper says. Hatred breeds ha hatred. So if you're mad at people and you, you know, exert e e ener negative energy, you're going to get negative energy back. So you want to. Be nice and be kind to everybody and always output positivity to your customers. And it's shown uh, for the last year we've done we've had that we've had that belief and we've had that yeah. culture within Johnny Slick. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's proven for you guys that have ever encountered a problem, maybe um, something broke in transit to you, you'll know. Or you, you don't know, get it. Or you don't get it, something we happens. It. Yeah, yeah, we always are on it. And it's because we care about you and we want your business and support. And that's Roadhouse Rolls. That's what it is, Roadhouse Rolls. There's, there's your six. That's, great, there's great your tips. There's your six. That's one, two, five, six. <laughs> right there for each one of you guys. Six tips to build a six figure business in one year. And uh, <laughs> good friends. Humble. Yes. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? He's like, I'm John no, Famos no. Jr. Make it normal. It's not normal. Get in there. This is for you. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Just hold me like the old man. <laughs>
You treat me like you're the real woman I am. Come on, this is our song. <laughs> this is your song? This is I'm our song. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Metallica song? Oh, dude. Dude, no. There's so many other songs. <laughs> There's so many other songs. Why is this song? What do you want? The Deftones? What the fuck, man? That's all I got. <laughs> anything. There's, there's children watching this channel. <clears throat> there are. They're getting ready to enlist. Give them positivity. Tell them what they should do. That <laughs> they should, uh, when they are in Okinawa and they're stealing shit, they should hit the water and not go through gate after curfew. All right, that was one time. <laughs> that Idiots. was one time. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> and he wasn't there to tell us, therefore it's not really my fault. So today was a, uh, it was a somber, humbling day. Fun. And it was humbling. The team that we have and the success that we've had is because people have just poured their like soul into what we're doing and you know Miss Capper and I struggled so hard for years early on way back and to have some of the minute success that we have now and the people that we have in our lives. My heart is full and I am thankful and grateful for what we put into it. And uh, this was a special day. Yeah, special day and I'm very, very proud and thankful.